hello guys welcome to my channel so today I'm going to show you one demonstration of a kind of YouTube automation so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how you can see a person's or a channel's view subscribers and videos so if I just try to run this code So it's asking me for username, I'll just do PewDiePie and it says ID. So problem is that I forgot for username. So if I save it and rerun it and do PewDiePie again. You can see it. Um, it prints out the views, the total views. It's uh, his channel has, and how many subscribers, and how many videos does he have. So these three, uh, you can get through these lines of code. So I'll show you in detail how you can do this because there are certain steps that we have to do. So before we jump on to the detailed explanation, if you are new to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. It's completely free. You can hit the subscribe button and it's going to do me a favor. So that will be, I, I'll, I'll be uh, really um, motivated with that and I'll, I'll really appreciate that action. So please subscribe to my channel and, and yeah, let's jump to the explanation. Okay, so first what we need to do we have to first log into Google Developers Console. So if you guys don't know, YouTube is a product of Google. Google bought this product a long time back. So uh, Google provides us all sort of APIs to have some customization on their product. So when you log into Google uh, uh, Console, you may be asked to log in uh, to the account that you want to use to log into the Google Cloud Platform. So when you do, then you may be asked to create a project. So you can uh, simply create a project, uh, like you can do a new project and and you can just directly do a simple create, whatever name you want to do, you can do that. And there are around um, 13, I think, free ones and then maybe they are paid so if you just have to do few things then this will be enough for you anyways so after creating the project you will be on your project page like i'm here then you have to go on credentials so why i'm doing this is because we have a upi something like this api so here this part is google data api as you can see here this is the URL which is being referred for data API. So this data API is used to collect the information related to the uh, videos, number of videos that the channel has, uh, comments, views, uh, stuff like that. So you can read everything here about the API and then these are the resource type that you can get. So what I need to do I just needed to get the subscription details so so as you can see that is pretty specific here what I'm doing is till here I said this is pretty com common so you can see like this is the data API and here onwards it says channels and then part is, is statistic that is what I need to get and then I need to provide a ID so ID will be the channel ID so if I go to my youtube account my channel so you will see like my channel is this i don't have a name because i don't maybe i don't have a tick that's why but if i do pewdiepie you can see that his channel doesn't have any id you will see something like this right so that's why there are two sort of urls one is id and another url is so let me change this to 
for user name and here uh, before and I'll do pod pi so when I hit this URL they both work exactly same but the thing is that you will get the same kind of category rather the parameter to get that information is different so here we have for username here we have ID so these are the two API's that you can use but there is this one more important parameter which is key without this it is not going to work so that's why we need to get a credential so that is what API key is a credential so how you can do that it's simple when you click on create credential you need to provide type so I am uh, I need an API key so I'll just cl click on that and once it is done it is going to show me something and I'm waiting for that as it is creating so as you can see it created an API so if you want to restrict your key to prevent unauthorized use in production you can click on this restrict key but I don't need that so as you can see I have two API key and I can use both of them right so if I uh, use this my old API which is mentioned here it will still work right so good enough so that is what we need so first you need to do that and if you want to get the API information it's here in the library you can check any API out if you specifically need for YouTube you can just search YouTube and you will see the API's and we are a data API that provide access to YouTube data such as videos playlist etc etc so this is the configuration part right now let's come down to the logic so let me first remove this code and then I'll just write it down and I'll explain step by step to show you guys how we can do it okay so let me remove this code so first we need to import few things one is URL lib so you need to import uh, install this library and this will only work in 3 point above 3 version not 2.7 and then from URL lib you need to import request and then we need a JSON parser so that we can view the JSON information in our specific format so that's it that you need to import now there is no uh, code needed to ask the user to provide the name so you don't need that and you don't need any name or key variable also to hold that information so I'm I'm not going to use that rather I just do a data variable which is going to get me the data back from the request which I am getting like this right so this is the JSON data that I need back so I'll just do request and here I need to provide so I'll just need URL open method also which which is going to open the URL and then I'm going to read it so that's it that's all we have to do I'll just copy this URL once so this is the information related to my channel so you need to paste it here and once you do that you have the data now you need to get this specific information out of it like we need to get views subscribers and video count so three variables right so we'll do that one by one so I'll just create a variable views and I'll do JSON dot loads and here I'll do data so I'm here loading the JSON data and then from this loaded data I'm going to get the array which is this items right so I'll just do items and from items I need to get the first object or the first item so I'll just do zero because it starts from zero and then we need to get another array which is statistic so I'll just do here statistic right that's it you can just copy this information paste it three times and here we will change the variables name to uh, views videos 
and subscribers so we'll do subs right so after getting this statistic data we need to get the specific item so that's simple enough we just have to do one more bracket quotes and then view count as you see here and then we'll do subscriber count and just like that we need to do videos count after that you can directly print them and format them in, in any format you want so i'll just simply do views subs and videos save it and run it so as you can see it it displays the number of views total in, on my channel the number of subscribers that i hold as of now and the videos that i have right so that's one uri url that you can do another one was that instead of id i use username so i'll just use the same one that i used here i'll just directly copy this or i can do copy this anything will work so i'll just replace it here i'll save it again and i'll rerun it so as you can see it displays the other information right good enough so that is how you can get that information right and with this very same logic you can also create your own live subscriber counter you can you can get the idea from this right because we have already done um, like 90 percent of the stuff so this is it for this video i hope you might have learned something new if you did please hit the like button and the subscribe button and thank you very much for watching i hope you will have a good day Thank you. Bye-bye.